This is my new 120 inch portable cinema setup. And you don't have to have billions like Elon Musk to buy out AMC in order to do it. Right, so one thing you can pretty much guarantee is that everybody has seen a projector in some form or another since its inception in 1895. Yes, it's really been that long. Developed by the Lumiere brothers if you're asking. But safe to say many, like me included, have been really waiting for them to evolve and develop into a real must-have piece of tech for everybody. That's projectors, not the Lumiere brothers, because that would just be a bit weird and quite terrifying, actually. <laughs> but 2022 really feels like the start of something special in this space, where a lot of brands have really upped their game, including the company Nebula. Now, Nebula, of course, are a subsidiary brand to well-established brand Anchor, and they've been kind enough to send me these two new products, the Capsule 3 Laser and the Cosmos Laser 4K to play around with and to sponsor this video. But as always, not only will I go over the features, tell you what I like, also things that I think potentially could be improved. So let's see exactly what you can do with this new breed of projectors, starting with the Capsule 3 Laser. And firstly, look how small it is. That's crazy. It's literally a cinema in your pocket. Yes, I know you probably would look a bit silly with that sticking out your back pocket, but you get the idea. But as a result of its size, this is absolutely brilliant for portability. Transporting it between different locations, your house, ho holiday, hotels, garden. If, of course, it's nice and warm outside and you fancy a bit of camping cinema theatrics. That's not theatrics. Now, it certainly isn't warm here in the UK at the moment. We are in the middle of November, but I still brave the elements for you. So a like and subscribe would be wonderful. And you can see with the dark surroundings at 300 ISO lumens, just how bright it can be. Now, this picture is created using a laser engine, which can be up to 1.8 times brighter than some of the LED projectors with the same wattage. And I think currently it's the only projector of its size to use this latest technology. Now, you can have this seamless, incredibly easy to assemble entertainment setup because you don't need any cables in order for this to work. An internet connection, a charge battery, and you're good to go. Now, granted, it would be nice to have a possibly slightly longer battery here. We have up to two and a half hours uh, off charge, but you do have PD fast charging and the two and a half hours of battery life should be more than enough for a nice movie and a spot of gaming. And of course you can plug it in if you wanted a longer stint. And you also have an aux and an HDMI port if you wanted to connect it up to a gaming console, for example. Now the Capsule 3 laser runs on Android TV 11 software. And with that, you have access to all of your favorite streaming apps, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Video, and YouTube, to name a few. Now, the Capture 3 Laser is a max resolution of 1080p, so there is no 4K here, which would, of course, be nice, but we do have an option for that, if that is your tipple. I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but more on that in a second. Now, one thing I absolutely love with this is the autofocus and keystone correction, which basically means whenever you move your device to a new location, it will automatically focus the image based on the actual surface you're shining it on and the angle as well. It can change the angle to look completely straight, even if your projector here is off at an angle. And this is really clever tech because not always are you gonna be able to have it directly in front of the surface you wanna to shine to. If you want it off to the side, cause you're gonna be here, it will still give you that straight on image, which is great. Now the autofocus isn't a hundred percent all of the time, but you can, using the accompanying remote, kind of do a manual autofocus. You press that and it sort of redoes it. And again, once that's happened, I've had no problems and I've very rarely had to use that anyway. Now, as well as that button for your really crisp image, we also have the power on and off. We have a Google voice assistant. We have your navigation buttons. We have back home volume and settings where you can, amongst other things, change the zoom of the image. So you can really get it to fit exactly the designated surface it's shining on. Now you can also control the Capsule 3 laser using your smartphone on iPhone and on Android using the Nebula Connect app. And you can also cast content from your phone to the projector, although I think currently that's only available on Android. So it seems pretty well and good so far, but the Capsule 3 laser also has a little secret weapon, a little alternative use in the form of a Bluetooth speaker. By pressing the Bluetooth button on the back, just above the power button, you can pair it to your phone, for example, and stream 
Music. It's not the best speaker I've heard. The bass certainly I think could be a little bit punchier, but it's really loud. And we do have Dolby Digital Plus and overall it does a pretty stellar job, especially considering its size. Again, ideal for ambience, for a gathering, friends, family, for example. Whack this on, you don't need a Bluetooth speaker. And considering, like I said, that's not really its main job, it's another nice, impressive touch, as is the overall performance. As you can see, it's pretty snappy. The MediaTek 9629 handles the day-to-day -day stresses with ease, and a few random Android TV glitches aside, it's been plain sailing. Inside the package, you get the projector, remote, batteries, and manual. Now, I do think they should include a possible cleaning cloth for the uh, glass lens area here. And I also think they should include a carry case as well, especially considering they are sort of marketing this as a portable projector. And because of its size, many people are gonna be throwing this in and out of rucksacks, cases to travel with, and it could get damaged without a case. They would argue, put it in the box that it came in, which yes, you could do, but it's a little bit bulky and it's not as nice as having a designated small case for it. Maybe on a possible Nebula 4 laser. So all sounds a compelling option. So why choose the Cosmos or Cosmos laser 4K? Well, for starters, clues in the title, 4K resolution. So it's super sharp. On top of that, it's super bright at 2,400 ISO lumens, one of the leaders in this area in the industry. We also have 30 watt speakers, two times 10 watt full range, and two times five watt tweeters compared to the eight watt in the Capsule 3 laser. And of course, because of all this, it's naturally bigger, it's heavier, it's slightly less portable, and this has to be plugged in. The Cosmos Laser 4K is only Android TV 10 as well, but you can now update it to Android TV 11, and it is more expensive at around £2,000, dollars euros compared to the 799 I believe, at the time of recording for this. Neither are cheap, they're impressive, but they're a package. Outside of those differences, they are very much alike. We again have a laser engine, autofocus and keystone correction, and they both have a threaded mount on the bottom. So if you wanted to rest them on a tripod, for example, to make it nice and stable for viewing, you can do that. And this is something I've done because you can then adjust the heights really nice. You don't have to rely on the table height or a chair or something. You can literally set it to where you want. It's great. So ladies and gents, they are the two projectors from Nebula. All the information will be left in the video description below. Like I said, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe if you love everything tech and want to see more content like this and want to be notified every time I post a new video. My name's Adam. You've been the best. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Say this, boy. Peace out.